Okay, this is a special video. So you can probably tell from the title, we are moving studios. This might be one of the last videos here. If you're new to the channel, what's up? It's Carl. We are currently in my studio spot right now. If you're still missing out, I'm actually in the process of building a new house, a new studio spot. If you've seen any of my videos in the last couple of years, you know that stuff was shot here. We've got some pretty cool pieces that uh, are special to me. The orange wall, lots of bits of Lego, but unfortunately today we are clear cleaning everything up, moving stuff away from this spot, and um, let's go on the journey of moving to the new studio space. So it's pretty hilarious as I kind of clean everything out, you run into things that you kind of forget about. So for example, I'm a huge Lego fan, unbuilt boxes. So this uh, McLaren F1 build, I've got the Razor Crest build uh, from the Mandalorian, but even cooler stuff like check out this level up achievement poster or piece of artwork that Xbox Canada got me for when I moved into this studio. So this is four years old. You can actually see some of the details here. It's obviously an orange controller. If you can't tell, big orange fan. But each of these individual thumbnails or squares are parts of my videos that I've created uh, over the years. So super cool. This will bring its way or make its way to the new spot. Awesome memories, but um, let's pack uh, this cool stuff up. Okay, so Space Clean, the last tech product brought in, honorary unboxing slash actual good usage. So this is the Ecovax D-Bot X2 Combo Complete. It's a hybrid two-in-one robot vacuum slash mop. It also has this little handheld function, literally perfect for this time since I need to kind of clean this entire studio space. Let's get this thing unpackaged, set up, and we will put this into a good clean to get the space nice and shiny. Probably over the years, I have unboxed hundreds literally hundreds of products uh, here. This being the last one, it's kind of like bittersweet. It's not like this will end. Um, it will just start happening in a new spot. Okay, so pretty uh, informal stuff. So we've got the robot vacuum set up. Uh, it's nicely tucked into this corner. We initially mapped out uh, the first area. So it's obviously using a lot of LiDAR to detect all the obstacles. I've got a ton of cables kicking around in the studio. It was able to, you know, manage that. It mapped out this first little square that uh, I cleaned. What I actually really like, it's in this nice little all-in-one base station, obviously where the robot vacuum charges, but the addition of this little handheld vacuum as well. So the floor cover coverage is done by the robot vacuum and all the tough to reach places that are say off the ground on all the shelves that I have are done with this. It's got these uh, different cleaning head attachments which you can kind of swap in and out. So once again, super, super simple to use. This is actually the first one that I've seen that has this uh, little handheld thing, which I think is awesome. Obviously this being a robot vacuum, it's kind of like a set and forget. And because it's that dual function, it both has the cleaning, like the vacuum section as well as the mop area. And because I've got a couple of rugs here, it can auto detect when that rug is coming and it'll lift the mop up so you're not getting any wet stuff onto your carpeted surface. It really helps because uh, my pet uh, Link, he's not here in the studio today, but his muddy little footprints come in. This is great for just mopping up uh, all that uh, unnecessary stuff. I've obviously dropped the uh, things like food as I snack all the time here. Um, this has 8,700 pascals of suction power, so it's nice and powerful and we'll just kind of pick everything up off the floor without actually uh, me having to do it uh, myself. I can control, watch, and monitor everything in the app. I can kind of select uh, no-go zones where I don't want the robot vacuum to clean. And obviously I can kind of set and forget. So now I can set this to clean. I can go on to more cleaning and moving stuff from the studio to the new spot. There's also this second thing. So if we actually think about my like studio or the new spot that I'm building, I'll share some B-roll of what the current space looks like. This is almost a bit of a sneak peek of the current state of it. You can see that it has massive like 20 foot windows. This is actually another robot vacuum that cleans windows. Once again, totally unscripted, perfect addition uh, for the new place. 
So here it is. This is the WinBot W2 Omni. So the windows in this studio are actually a bit too small. Like I said, uh, the new house build that uh, we have some massive, massive windows. Unfortunately, we're not quite at the space yet. Uh, obviously there's construction workers, people that are actually working on it to use this. Let's switch back to where I'm currently living right now. Part two of this video, we'll test this and I'll kind of walk through, uh, yeah, the rest of the house build, my thoughts. I want your guys input on a lot of the studio stuff stuff uh, because we're at that final stage where a lot of the interior finishes are coming. So let's uh, take this um, to the new spot. Quickly before we take this guy, you can see that this area is clean, but we still have so much more to kind of carry over. This has just become mostly storage. You can see kind of like top down area. I actually just shot a thumbnail here. This is kind of where I work, cables galore, but um, that's the studio. Okay, so uh, like I mentioned, on site now for the new house and this area here, so right above uh, the garage, that's where uh, the studio is. And you can see these massive 20 foot windows that go all the way from the floor down this way, all the way up to the ceiling. So I'm gonna kind of give you a tour. Um, it is a huge construction site uh, right now, but uh, there's workers inside. I'll do my best to uh, show you what everything looks like and obviously uh, go up and um, showcase some of the big glass and uh, all the cool stuff that's going on right now. So uh, over on this way, uh, this is where the garage is. These will actually be filled with these uh, wood slats that go once again from the top all the way to the bottom. That's the opening. It'll kind of be built in into the space. And uh, I mentioned that the studio is actually a uh, living on top of the garage. It's actually uh, the largest room in the house. And we've got some really nice curved glass on the side. This is kind of like the main room slash uh, living room. It's uh, technically two stories and you can see these massive pieces of glass, uh, kind of inspired by, um, you know, it's obviously very modern, but uh, if you've ever been to an Apple store, they have uh, this beautiful glass and um, I'm kind of building my own Apple store. You can see here, this is all original brick. So this is from the original house. It's technically a renovation and um, into the basement there, you can see some new windows installed to give some light. There's this nice little retaining wall here and we're gonna fill this with uh, grass, but that just gives a uh, light to downstairs, which is super nice. So onto the side, this entire section here, so this is all new. This will be clad in uh, new concrete uh, once that's done. Technically, um, if this is the first time you're watching this, this is the same footprint of the house. So we essentially took the existing footprint and just added an extra story. So you can see the division, that uh, brick line right there, that's all original house or I guess original walling. And then what we've added kind of on top and kind of coming in through the front door, which is also glass. You can see here uh, this giant main area. And this is what I'm talking about, these, uh, these massive windows. So like I said, all the way from kind of the ceiling up to the floor, ceiling to the floor. You can imagine how perfect that uh, W2 WinBot uh, robot uh, vacuum is for cleaning these windows. So you can essentially just like place it somewhere on the window and it'll just go up and essentially clean everything. So I don't have to be up on a ladder somewhere. It's got like crazy 5,500 pascals of max suction power and this anti-drop mechanism. So you can imagine if that is all the way up there, the last thing that you would want is that uh, robot vacuum to fall and crash uh, onto the floor, or onto the windows. I've actually tested it out in my condo now. It works, it cleans them, and I cannot wait uh, for these things to be cleaned super easily. It also comes with a little all-in-one station, which I think I might uh, kind of mount there. It's completely hands-free and each clean is around 110 minutes. And what's actually great with the W2 Omni, it has the base station that has a pretty large battery, so it can be brought either inside or outside. It doesn't need to be near an outlet, so you can kind of use this uh, without being plugged in or tethered. Like I said, this was like the perfect uh, little integration. And as I kind of walk through the rest of the place, there actually used to be a stairwell here, which uh, needs to get installed, but I can't actually get to the top floor, but that is the entrance to the new studio. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna climb the ladder to show you, but that is also the way to get up to the second floor. Dope little skylight. And if we kind of walk around here, I'll show you the rest of this main floor. Don't wanna fall into the stairwell that goes downstairs. We've got a little powder room in here. This is where the TV room will be. So 100 inch TV mounted to this wall. Once again, more windows on the back. These all will slide so you can get to the backyard or little deck that's there. 
And then here is where the uh, kitchen area will be. So you can imagine cabinetry, kitchen there, more cabinets that go all around and kitchen island will be kind of right in the middle there. And since there were uh, workers downstairs, I didn't want to uh, interrupt uh, their day and what they were doing. So we're back outside. You can kind of see the main uh, bedroom, which is uh, right over this way. Uh, the stairs, which I couldn't get to to show you. I don't want to really spoil too much, but you can essentially see the new addition of that extra floor, all the old scaffolding, and of course the original house or the footprint of it that is still uh, down this way. So super, super dope. Cannot wait to share more of the build. I think we're slated to move in by uh, the end of the summer, but I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get out of these workers way. Can't wait to update you with more and catch you in the next one. Peace.